Let's take a closer look at the new Metal FFF features available in Ultimaker Cura 5.1, as well as an exciting new product that will help make metal printing easier than ever. 3D printing with metal on Ultimaker machines has been possible in the past, thanks to manufacturers like BASF Forward AM, who leveraged our Ultimaker software and hardware to do things we hadn't anticipated. Inspired by these efforts, we decided to partner with BASF to fully support metal FFF printing on Ultimaker machines. We did this by not only creating new features within Ultimaker Cura, but we also created new products and outlined a new workflow that will allow users to access metal FFF printing that's more reliable and more affordable than ever. Our first step in improving metal printing came in our much anticipated Ultimaker Cura 5.0 release. That release, we saw the introduction of a new slicing engine that made it easier to print thin walls and fine details. These benefits apply to all materials and metal is no exception. In 5.0, we also updated the Ultrafuse 74PH and the Ultrafuse 316L material profiles to include automatic scaling and alternate wall directions. Both of these metal specific features that help compensate for changes that occur in the debinding and sintering process. Users who were excited about the possibilities that these new features promised did not have to wait long, as the very next release of Ultimaker Cura version 5.1 enabled full support for metal printing on Ultimaker machines. 5.1 added a shrinkage plate that is automatically generated when printing with compatible ultrafuse metal materials. This plate prevents your part from deforming during debinding and sintering. We also added supports for the new DD 0.4 support core and the new ultrafuse support layer material both of which come in the recently announced metal expansion kit. When used with the DD core, the support material is used to print an interface layer between your metal parts and the metal supports, which make it easier to remove the supports after sintering. The metal expansion kit is the final piece of the Ultimaker metal printing puzzle. It comes with everything you need to start printing metal, as well as an e-learning resources that will help guide you through the simplified workflow where you send off your printed parts to be post-processed using BSF's network of debinding and sintering services. If you want to find out more about this process, watch the Metal FFF webinar we recently released or check out our full Ultimaker Cura 5.1 release notes for more info in the features mentioned in this video. And with that, thanks for watching and subscribe for future updates.